82 weeks after Hillary Clinton declared her candidacy and 72 weeks after Donald Trump did the same, the race is down to its final hours. Clinton, Trump and their running mates, Tim Kaine and Mike Pence, campaigned today in eight states, including six of those narrowly divided battleground states that will decide this election. We're going to begin our coverage tonight with Major Garrett on the Trump campaign. If we don't win, all of us, honestly, we've all wasted our time. I'll be honest. In Raleigh, North Carolina, Donald Trump confronted something rarely seen in his breakneck barnstorming of the country, a venue with plenty of room to spare. Trump still drew thousands on a Monday afternoon, but he brooded over a possible defeat as national polls and early vote turnout in battleground states suggested the Republican nominee will need a surge of voters tomorrow. You have one magnificent chance, and honestly, in four years, you know, it's, it's over, folks. There has never been a movement like this. Trump had Even been buoyed in recent days by FBI Director James Comey's decision to investigate emails found on a laptop used by a top Clinton aide. But Comey said yesterday that agents sorting through the messages found nothing to change his decision not to recommend charges against Hillary Clinton. The FBI, the director, was obviously under tremendous pressure. So they went through 650,000 emails in eight days. Yeah, right. So sad what's going on. Earlier in the day, Trump sounded more upbeat. He told a packed house in Sarasota, Florida, he had done all he could do to win. In one day, we are going to win the great state of Florida, and we are going to take back the White House. This is it. Good luck. Get out there. I did my thing. I mean, I worked. Trump even lightened the mood by reaching into the crowd for a flimsy likeness of himself. Nice head of hair, I'll say that. Campaigning in Erie, Pennsylvania, Mike Pence called his time as Trump's running mate an extraordinary journey. That man is ready. This team is ready. The Trump campaign is encouraged by early and absentee vote totals in Florida, Ohio, and North Carolina, but acknowledged day of turnout there and in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and especially New Hampshire are crucial to Trump's fate. In that regard, Scott, Trump will try to set a good example, voting election day early in Manhattan. Major Garrett for us tonight.